right here is a box of stuff from Dan. Thank you, Dan. So he said he had a tripod that he doesn't use anymore. And let me tell you, I have a tendency to want to constantly upgrade all of my equipment. I'm like, mm, could this be a little bit better? But that being said, I've used the tripod we're using now for the last five years, which it feels longer than that, but apparently it's only been five years. So the tripod we have been using is the Manfrotto Be Free Live. What I like about it is that it is small and light. It has video features so you can do smooth tilts, smooth pans, and other places in between. The updated model of this is not as good for a couple of reasons. The first being there is no clip right here, so when you pull this up, there's just a rubber gasket that can come off and then the whole head can come flying out. <clears throat> oh, what was the other one? And there's another reason which I can't remember, but maybe that was the only reason. Anyway, the reason I tend to always upgrade is because there is very often better things in existence. This tripod is awesome. First of all, these twist lock legs I always thought that these would be inconvenient, but they're actually fantastic because you can undo everything with one twist and you've got the whole leg out. Whereas with these lever locks, you can do the same thing, but it's much harder. And in cold weather, oh man, that would be much nicer to just do a quick twist. And as you can see, these legs are much higher. Let's see what it's like. Oh, well, they're about the same once you do the extension, but this feels way more sturdy. The biggest weakness of this one has always been that it's not very sturdy. Now the legs themselves are the CP26 Travel 2 by FLM. I've never even heard of that company, but they make very nice stuff apparently. And the head is the iFootage Komodo K5. Now I actually didn't even know that he was gonna be sending the head as well, but if we wanted to, we could take the head from the Be Free Live. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Oh man, that makes it very, very light. Holy cow. Let's go do some weight tests. The new legs are two pounds, 7.2 ounces. The old one was three pounds, one ounces. Wow. Carbon fiber. So basically my old tripod and this new tripod are the same weight, but if I Frankenstein this head with these legs, we can get a very light combination. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try out the new head for a while and see if I like it. And then if it's not that much better, we can just go with the smaller weight. But so far, this is just so solid. Like it's got these great little buttons here where you can extend the legs. Oh, that's so much better than my previous tripod. My previous tripod has these terrible levers that always get flipped, so I just tape them. So in the middle position here, you can pull these legs out like this. And then if you turn this, you can pull the leg out farther. But if you don't tape this down, this is constantly getting moved. Well, one thing I can say right off the bat is that this tripod head is much smoother. Look at that, that is pretty nice. Very smooth panning, smooth tilting. Oh man, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay, well the plan now is to test this out. But yes, thank you, Dan. This is a very nice surprise. The rough edit portion has been completed. It is time for music writing. It is going reasonably well. I stay on top of like new cameras coming out and new lenses and stuff. So I generally know what's out there, but tripods are one thing that are just, they're not very exciting. Since our tripod had passed a certain threshold for just getting the job done and not having any glaring flaws, I just totally stopped looking at them. This thing is rock solid, light as a feather. Come on, man. Dear winter, that's enough. Please spring. I don't remember precisely when I changed my regular running route. For some reason, yesterday I was like, wait a minute. My current route has me running on concrete most of the time. And even though I only run 20 minutes a day, I'm putting undue stress on my body for no reason. It's plenty of asphalt, which is slightly softer than I could run on. All I gotta do is avoid the sidewalks, stay on the street, and instantly have much less pressure on my knees and the rest of my body. There's a new movie on Disney Plus called Chang Can Dunk, and it has every single one of the hobbies I've ever devoted time into in one movie. First it was about basketball, then they introduced the drums, then they introduced 
video games, and then they introduced video production. It was hilarious. Pretty good movie, and one of the ways which it mirrors my own experience is getting put on the bench on the basketball team. I'm never gonna get over it. Like, I just have accepted that I'm never gonna get over the fact that I was better than 90% of the people on the team, and I got no playing time. It's so frustrating. I'm gonna turn 40 next year. I could probably still dunk. I don't know, though. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, with a little bit of practice and a little bit warmer weather, I can definitely get back to dunking again. Not quite there right now though. I don't even love basketball that much, so it's not like I missed my calling or anything, but it just, still, 20 years later, can't get over it. I don't think about it that often, but when I do, I'm like, this again, again? I learned about D.B. Cooper from Prison Break. What a fascinating story, man. Can you imagine just jumping out of that plane in the dark in a storm? The quest continues to write some good, unique music. I don't need to make it completely unique, but you know, push in the direction of uniqueness. I feel like we've had a little bit of success so far. Let's try to continue that. So, the goal today, again, is to write original music. Obviously, anything I write is original, but we're talking even original for what I do. So, so the strategy I've been using is when I'm developing another part of the song and I have an idea for it. Instead of using my first idea, which is what kind of comes natural to me, I'm like, how can I change this so this is something that I haven't done before? And it's working reasonably well. So, uh, let us continue. Anyway, my buddy Michio recommended a manga to me a while ago, and I found out that my library has every single volume available right now. We gotta go right now. I just ran into my mom on the street while she was coming back. When I started this vlog, every interaction was an opportunity to film. I've mentioned before that I wanna make the vlog daily, but I just can't because living an actual life it, you're just not meant to document every single thing that happens. Don't get me wrong, like I think it's so interesting and so fun, but if that's what you do, it takes over the actual living part. So I have to cordon off these times where vlogging is vlogging, living is living. And sometimes they can overlap. Vinland? Saga. Oh, it's so good. Also, apparently, they just got it. Which is really funny. Sometimes the universe just works out that way. Like, oh, I wonder if the library has this. Oh yeah, they just got it. Oh! Oh my goodness. Wait, are they into Star Wars now? Yeah. Oh. Really into it. Which took a while because they just used to not be interested at all. All right, I think I will end the vlog there. Hope you're having a good one. That pizza party's coming soon, boy. See you in the next one.
So Andrew was saying that we've hiked maybe two miles today. And even if we need to get a lot farther, I feel like with this road, it's not gonna take very long at all. Like roads are so much easier than any trail. This is a walk in the park <laughs> and it's great. <laughs>